Hey everyone, it's Nabil. Um, this will be an interesting <laughs> update. I haven't even had a chance to process yet um, the news we've just received. Um, but uh, I really want to first thank you guys for all your prayers. Um, I know many, many of you have been praying nonstop um, for the past few days as I've been waiting to hear the results. Michelle and I just went to uh, the uh, hospital to receive the results of the last scan and uh, the results aren't good um, the radiation apparently didn't work too well um, the primary tumor has shrunk some so that's good but the tumor is still there there's still cancer in the stomach um, but what's worse the lymph nodes that we were hoping would recede haven't receded um, and so I'm not a not a candidate for surgery and on top of that, the cancer has spread to uh, more lymph nodes now uh, throughout my chest. Um, and so, thankfully, there's no clear evidence of any cancer in any organs apart from the lymph nodes. Um, but the cancer has spread. The radiation apparently didn't do uh, a good enough job. And we don't know what's going to happen now. The, um, the route to successful medical treatment is chemotherapy to radiation to surgery. Um, and if the radiation works, then you move on to surgery. Um, and uh, we didn't make it past that step. And so next week, we will be meeting with our medical oncologist, um, who uh, will be giving us whatever options we have now. Um, there might be some new treatments that have come out, maybe some experimental ones that I could qualify for. I have no idea, um, but uh, this is this is about the, the worst news we've received since the day we were first diagnosed, um, and the cancer is, is now worse uh, than where it was when we were first diagnosed. Um, the initial diagnosis was, of course, bad, stage four, and then uh, four weeks later, or four, four rounds of chemo later, um, we had a very good scan. Four rounds of chemo after that, we had a mixed scan. We weren't quite sure what it said. And now the cancer is worse than it was when they first discovered it. So um, where does that leave us? Um, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it yet. I haven't really processed it yet. Um, of course, the first thing that comes to mind is um, the story of Lazarus in the New Testament, uh, the Gospel of John. Uh, that um, Lazarus' sisters were indignant with Jesus for having delayed. Um, and uh, Jesus uh, healed, well, he didn't heal Lazarus, he raised him from the dead. And so it was an even greater miracle than otherwise expected. Uh, that's, that's kind of where we are now. Um, if this be for God's glory, it would be definitely more for his glory now, because we're kind of past the point of medical treatment. Um, or at least past the first line of medical treatment, anyhow. Um, so that's what I'm praying for, that God is aiming to glorify himself even more uh, through what's going to happen. Um, can't, uh, can't lose hope. Can't lose hope. Um, there's, there's a lot on the line, uh, especially my daughter. Um, I don't want her to grow up fatherless. So we keep praying, we keep pushing, keep doing what we can. I'll probably make more changes to my diet now. I'll probably explore more of these um, alternative treatments that uh, people have been suggesting. Um, I hear of things happening overseas, um, some good treatment centers for, for um, alternative treatment centers for cancer, some places people are going for healing. I hear about places in Southern France and in Switzerland, uh, some in Mexico. So who knows, maybe I'll check some of these out. Um, but my hope is still in the Lord. Uh, my hope is still in the Lord. Uh, I've received many words, many, many words, um, saying that God intends to heal me. I haven't given up on that yet. Um, those people could all be wrong, of course. Uh, that is possible. Um, but I'm praying that even if one of them is right, uh, <laughs> Uh, then God will come through. And so I'm waiting for that and hoping for that. Regardless, thank you for all your prayers. Um, I think now is a time to double down. If, if you aren't already exhausted, I know I'm pretty exhausted with, with the prayers, and so if you're exhausted and you want to 
you want you want to invest your prayers in something else i completely understand um so thank you so much for for being a part of the journey so far uh, but for those of you who uh, have the wherewithal to continue please do continue to pray um, and we'll see what the lord does so i'll update you next week when i find out what our treatment options are and what we're pursuing uh, until then, let's pray and see what God does. God, you um, put me last August in a place where I had 4% hope in medical treatment. And now I'm pretty much close to 0% hope in medical treatment. And so, Lord, I throw myself upon you even more. I ask for your mercy, God. I know that you're a miracle-working God. I know that your will is for life and for life to the full. God, I know that you intend to heal. Lord, as you intended to heal everyone who came to you while you were walking this earth, I do not believe your will has changed. I do not believe your character has changed. And so your will is to heal. And Lord, I know that at this point, the cliche often is, well, you will heal, but it might be in the next life. I, I think that's a cop out. God, I, I stand on, on your healing here in this life, uh, Lord. And I know that there are people who've prayed and prayed and prayed for others that weren't healed and that uh, they did ultimately receive their healing in the next life. I don't make light of that. Um, but God, at the same time, when you tell us that you came for life and life to the full, I believe it was for both this life and the next, um, God. And so I'm trusting you for that. I'm asking for that, God. Mainly for, for my daughter's sake, for Aya's sake, God. Um, Michelle could do without me, and I know your ministry could do without me. Um, but I don't think, I don't think a daughter should be without her father. And so we ask the perfect Father, who is merciful and good, we ask you, God, to have mercy and to give us this good outcome of a miraculous healing. We know it's possible, God, because you are alive and you are a miracle-working God. And so we trust you, Lord, now more than ever, we ask you now more than ever to come through. We love you, Lord. And we know that he who endures to the end will be saved. Give me the strength to endure, God. Increase my faith. Thank you for my friends, Lord. And my family, God, and for their willingness to pray and pour into me. I pray that you would return their prayers to them a hundredfold. For your glory, Lord, may we see this miracle done. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.